Hey guys, this is HBK Grand making a video about the Seraph's Bunker, which is now open on the moon with today's Destiny 2 update. So, what you have to do, I'm going to try to give you some tips on how to get it started. But if it is your first time, you got Shadow Keep, and now you're going to get access to this area, make sure you're doing the campaigns first before you actually do it because you can get all these bounties uh, from uh, these NPCs that are on the moon. So there is Lecter of Enhan Enchantment and then Eris Morn herself. So make sure you have those bounties because there are uh, some bounties that actually correlate with the Lost Sectors, then killing hives or killing enemies rapidly. Also, before you even go to the moon, make sure you're going to the Banshee to get all the bounties. Now, one thing I do recommend with the Banshee bounties is buy all the bounties and then also buy all the additional bounties as well. So, for instance, the daily bounty will might say like kill enemies with sword. The additional bounty will actually be saying, OK, kill enemies with sword as well. So the only difference would be one would say like, OK, there's a percentage and the other one would be saying like, OK, you need to just kill 15 enemies with a sword. So that way you could get a lot of XP by just doing the same stuff that you were already doing. To get to the bunker, simply make uh, your way towards the left side from Eris Morn near the Archer's Line. And you'll see the bunker to the left as you're making your way towards where like the public events usually happen or the Lost Sector is. So it's easy to spot. Uh, it does have that high vibe. So that was pretty cool. So like keeping it with the theme. So Bungie did a good job on that. But it is like similar to what you were basically doing in EDZ as well. So you just drop down and you'll be talking to uh, Rasputin. Now in this one, obviously Rasputin it will be offline. So you have to do the bunker thing all over again. So you can actually take all the bounties from him. It is completely your choice if you want to take the additional bounties or not. Because while you're doing all the other bounties, uh, for me, most of the time, the additional bounties are like cleared as is. So it makes it a lot easier to get like some XP, some war mine bits. So it makes it a lot easier. Now, the bunker is kind of like similar to uh, EDZ when you're doing the ad clearing. So but there is only like small twists. So there are a lot of bombs. So make sure like those uh, the ones that uh, turn you slow. Also, there will be like these traps. So make sure you're doing like your best to like avoid those. Otherwise, like because enemies are still strong and they can one shot you anyway. So uh, apart from that, it is not as difficult as like I thought it would be. But if you guys see like there's this only one path here like where you have to just mine those electricity because they can one shot you. Uh, from there on like you can just move towards the left and the right. It kind of like reminds me of like one of those strikes where like the train is coming from the left and the right. So kind of like that concept. Uh, so once you're into the main area, you're simply going to be talking to Anna Bray because as soon as I went in, Anna Bray just killed whatever those ads spawned. So I guess for the first time, you don't have to kill anything in the uh, main area and Anna Bray will do it for you. She will talk to you about like what's going on and then later on, it will just clear the bunker so you can make your way towards Rasputin right after that. So once you guys are at Rasputin, you can upgrade everything. So I would recommend starting with the cost reduction here. So that way, like if you have enough for mine bits, so that would be the smartest way to do because then you don't have to actually spend a lot of the warp mine bits on the upgrades. Uh, I had enough to actually upgrade everything. So just keep that in mind if for the past two weeks you have been just doing regular strikes on like the playlists or you've been doing Gambit or like Crucible. So you will be getting a lot of war, war mine bits from that. Uh, if you did Triumphs, uh, they would give you additional as well. If you were doing the caches, they, those will give you as well. So I had actually enough to max out everything and that was uh, like that gave me the chance to actually get uh, the weapon from the moon bunker as well. Now one thing you do need is the resource from the moon. So make sure you're doing all the bounties, collecting any chest that you see. If you see a public event, do those. Uh, if you see high level enemies or if you see like some hidden chests, uh, try to do all of them in order to get that resource because I found a lot of friends that did not know. Also, the two mods are actually arc based and not unlike the solar based on EDZ. So they're just going to be like a little bit of a different aspect of it. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer. If you guys need help with anything, you can leave it in the comment section below. Apart from that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And thank you so much for the support, guys. I appreciate it. This is HBK Grant taking off for the day. Have a great one, guys. Take it easy.